Welcome to the Crouch Ranch, guys. It's a, it's time for a rant. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> we all know that the beautiful bedtime story of how meat gets to the grocery store, right? The magical stork fairy brings these neatly wrapped packages down and they're shrink wrapped in magic cellophane and they nestle them neatly in the butcher's ice cold cooler display, right? It's all magic. No, it's not. Let me give you some reality. And based on some of the comments that I've gotten on some of our videos talking about raising animals for meat, that is what a lot of the younger generation thinks happens. Meat just appears. No, it doesn't. Somebody has to raise it. Somebody has to feed it take care of it, make sure it's warm enough, make sure it's been, you know, has enough to eat, make sure it's well taken care of, and then comes butchering day, slaughtering and butchering day, and somebody has to do that. Now, if you're talking an industrial farm, that's a whole different ballgame. I'm talking about a small individual family farm, okay? Let's just focus on that for now. So you guys that think that, and I quote, somebody left this comment the other day, um, What's wrong with you? Why can't you just go buy your meat at the grocery store like everyone else? Gotta love that. Um, because the meat that you buy at the grocery store is industrially farmed. Industrially farmed meat is kept in horrible conditions. It's fed terrible things. It's a whole different ball game when you're talking a small family farm how the animals are ra raised, what they're fed, the fact that they're not pumped full of antibiotics and drugs and hormones, depending on the animal, all kinds of things like that, okay? So, that being said, <laughs> get a clue. Your meat doesn't magically appear at the grocery store. Somebody has to do the dirty work. Somebody has to pull that trigger, so to speak, figuratively or literally, um, depending on what you're doing. But um, it doesn't just appear. You have to work for it, you have to raise it, you have to take care of it, you have to package it. Like a small farm, you do all that yourself from start to finish, from hatch till it's shrink wrapped. All of that happens. It didn't just appear, you had to work for it. So that's my rant on that. The flip side of that rant is, I understand that a lot of vegans have been commenting on our channel lately. A lot of people that claim to be animal rights activists or have claimed that only vegans are animal rights activists. That, or I should rephrase that, my bad. That if you're a vegan, you're automatically, it goes without saying that you're, a, that you're an animal rights activist. Well, that's just not the case. I myself consider myself an industrial vegan. And I've explained that before, what I think that means, but I'll give you the brief summary is, I don't eat anything that was industrially raised. I eat what I've raised meat-wise, but I eat limited quantities of it too. I don't eat as much meat as the average person, most likely. Um, we do tend to, as a society, eat more meat than we should. Um, but I think that in limited quantities, that's okay. You know, it's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. There's some benefits to it. There's, you know. So I won't eat anything that I know was pumped full of chemicals, that was raised in a terrible way, that lived a horrible life in a dark warehouse, crammed, you know, never saw the sun, crammed up against each other, mistreated, shuffled around, like, no. So, <clears throat> however, these same vegans, animal rights activists are attacking small farms, going on YouTube and attacking. And that's fine. They're welcome to their opinion. They can say whatever they want. That's well within their right. And that's cool. I'm not mad at that. What I'm mad at is the sheer level of ignorance that it takes to automatically assume that your way is the only right way, number one, and that your way is the only way to live. And that can be, that goes across the board with a lot of different topics nowadays. But if you're looking at it purely like, I'm a vegan. If I'm a vegan, you're a vegan. You shouldn't take a life. That's wrong. You're a murderer. Okay. 
I understand you feel very strongly about that. I can respect that you feel very strongly that in your opinion, notice how I said opinion, that animal has a soul. That animal is, you know, deserves to live its life and, and for it to live on a, on a kill-free farm and, and, and run and frolic through the fields forever until it dies naturally of old age and it should never have barbecue sauce dipped on it. Okay, I get that that's your belief and that's cool, but I'm not going to tell you that you have to eat meat. I'm not going to strap you to a chair and force feed you pork ribs until you bust. It's not going to happen. I'm going to go, cool, you're a vegan, right on, way to be. This is how I am. And you should be like, cool, right on, way to be. That is what is lacking, I think, right now in America, is everybody's ability to just go, hey, cool, I'm, that's cool that you think that. Tell me a little bit more about it. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't quite feel the same way, but okay. What happened to that? What happened to, instead of just butting heads and being douchey, to just go on, hey, that's cool. I respect your opinion on that. That's awesome. Like, keep on trucking, yo. I don't know what happened. So, somewhere along the lines, something happened. And we lost the ability to respect each other's differences and beliefs and to understand the reality of different choices in life and the different things that take actual work and they don't just magically appear. A house doesn't just magically appear. Somebody has to build it. Somebody has to design it from the ground up. Lots of people have to hammer nails and pour concrete and stuff to get that thing built. It doesn't just exist. Just like all the food that's in your grocery store doesn't just exist. And the funny thing too is all of these animal rights, intense, vegans, we'll call them intense vegans because they're intense. Um, I would be really curious to know out of the food that they do eat, if they are true, like I'm not talking like fast food, like I'm eating Dorito chips, like vegan, kind of like eating whatever, you know, junk food kind of vegan. I'm talking about like, I, like I'm just not eating any meat kind of, you know, vegetarian vegan. I'm talking about the ones that like legitimately really follow a regimented diet. I wonder if they're really paying close attention to where their vegetables are coming from and what the conditions that those human workers are working under and where it was trucked in from. How far was it driven in to get that vegetable that isn't in season here but you wanted to eat it? How many miles did it get trucked in? How bad was that for the environment that you and the world and the globe and the animals that you care so much about? That would be the question I would ask them. Anyway, that is my rant for today. <laughs> I know I ignored comments today because I just wanted to get my rant in, but there it is. So there you have it. Um, we will be doing a live again, hopefully on Sunday. Um, we've got some butchering we want to try to get done on uh, on Saturday of some of those Cornish um, and lots of other stuff going on too and it's Mike's birthday today so um, I'm making uh, bison locally raised and butchered bison burgers tonight for dinner so um, that'll be fun so anyway don't forget to like share subscribe um, and uh, Watch on Sunday. Hopefully we'll be on a Sunday again around one o'clock. Trying to stick to our schedule here. Trying to think of all the things I need to tell you. I feel very scatterbrained today. Is it coming across? Because I feel like it is. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like us on Facebook. All three are the same. Uh, the Crouch Ranch, at the Crouch Ranch. Um, so make sure you do that. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed my rant. Um, go out and eat a Tide Pod now. Have yourself some fun. And uh, <laughs> bye.